Coach Reno, what is going on today here at St. Edwards? Super Quad, Blair Academy, Wyoming Summit. I think they got guys you target. They got guys you like. What are you looking for when you're recruiting at an event like this in Ohio? So for us, you know, we're looking for kids that are the you know top student athletes and they're fully dedicated to wrestling. They're they're all in commitment. Um, super big work ethic, you know, but at the same time, they want to get the best education possible in the country. And uh, we also like guys who, you know, who love to freestyle and, and wrestle in the Olympic styles. That's something that's really important to us, you know. And then I think the, uh, you know, the next piece is just really offensive, high paced, high scoring. Uh, we like that kind of style. You guys have like a system, your admission system is pretty intense. At, in UPenn, right? It's obviously one of the eight Ivies, six with wrestling. But the, it's a very intense process that I like. I think a lot of parents aren't prepared for. Mm -hmm. How do you prepare them for this this process when you begin to recruit? Because automatically, 80% of the kids are kind of eliminated from coming from Penn to Penn. It's just how it is, right? It's great. It's mm -hmm. the Ivy League. It's the Wharton School of Business, right? Like, you know, you got the best product out there. Um, how do you prepare parents for, for the recruiting process? I think as early as we can start talking to families, we talk about what classes they're taking. You know, we definitely want to make sure they're taking honors and AP classes. Um, if they're interested in a particular program, we want to make sure early on they know what the prerequisites are for those programs. Um, and just emphasize the fact that, yeah, wrestling is important and that'll be part of the, the factor. But, you know, their work in a classroom on a day in, day out basis um, is incredibly important. Right. And so also the SATs or the ACTs, the testing, when to take it, how often to take it, um, you know, and getting a, an early start on that. The general rule is take it early and often. Um, and I think that you know, kind of the early conversation, you know, whether it's our place or anywhere else that the parents and the coaches can have about. Uh, positioning their kids to have the best chances you know that's what we want to do and it's all for years four years of transcripts I don't think a lot of kids they think they can take the freshman and sophomore year off those are actually two of the more important years for them in these high school years because if they get a D they're not getting into Penn yeah. if that's on your transcripts it's gonna be really hard to get in right yeah yeah starting in ninth grade is when it counts you know and we'll, we'll when we begin collecting information on prospects you know we'll look at the transcript from ninth grade on um, and generally, you know, we want to see them taking the hardest courses. Rigor is something you hear a lot about, and that's important. And we also want to see that increasing trend, you know, that their grades are on the upswing. You know, any dips in their junior year, or dip in their senior year, you know, that's the opposite of what our admissions office wants to see. Not a lot of coaches do college wrestling for a long time and then take a break and then come back. You did that. Yeah. How has that been for you yeah. being re -acclimate? How many years back into it are you? Yeah, this is my third season back. Um, and when I took over the, the program at Penn in, in my first stint, I was 24 years old. So I was the youngest Division One coach in the country at the time in any sport. Uh, had a great run, and um, and I stepped away re really for family reasons. Um, when uh, I got asked to consider coming back and taking the program over, um, my kids then uh, one was in college, one was about to go to college. So it was a much different time in life for me with my family. Um, and I just love the sport. I love the community. I love the wrestling community being around these people. The sport just continues to be fascinating. Um, and it's been great jumping back into it. And, um, you know, we've had good success with our recruiting classes, two back-to-back -back nationally ranked recruiting classes. Um, and, I, and we're really excited about our future. Our alumni are fully on board, our athletic administration fully on board. Um, we got Brandon Slay coaching our Olympic Regional Training Center, Penn alum, you know, who I recruited and uh, recruited out of high school and coached through college and up to the Sydney Games. So uh, we've got a lot of things in place, a lot of underpinning, um, you know, important foundation of the program is in place and, and uh, the movement's on. You know, I, I look at, you know, bringing Slay back from Colorado Springs. He comes in, you've built like a very viable RTC, which we all know that every program has to have a viable RTC mm -hmm. in order to offer the postgraduate opportunity. And it's recruiting, it's more workout partners, it's everything, mm -hmm. right? How do you raise money for that? You're doing like two full-time jobs. I talked to Bormat about, you know, Cliff Keen. It's almost like more work to do the RTC, even though you brought this Olympic champion in and then say finalist for you and Coach Slate from Texas. How do you how do you balance it with the, you know the yep. already keeping guys on degree progress and yep. eligible and all these other things? How do you do it, man? Yep. Well, you know, it takes a you know it takes a I think a larger group of people. Um, you know, our board of directors for the Pennsylvania Regional Training Center. We've got twelve people on our board of directors, uh, all very active, and I think I think that's very important. But it is a lot of work. 
Um, and for us, though, you know, we had Olympic level guys around Penn Wrestling program um, really for a number of decades, you know, going back to the Fox Catcher days with Dave Schultz and Brian Dolph and Trevor Lewis and Dan Shade and, you know, then into the Dave Schultz Wrestling Club um, for three Olympiads and, you know, guys coming through and participating. So, you know, we're very used to blending those styles and, you know, integrating the Olympic level guys with the college program. Um, the RTC, um, you know, is just a, to me another iteration of what we had already been doing. Um, but uh, but our, again, our alumni have been tremendously generous. You know, we've got a big vision of what we're doing. We're super excited to have Joey McKenna on board with us. You know, that was huge. A great representative of you know top student wrestlers and um, you know to the finals of the Olympic trials in Dallas just back in December and really on the hunt. Um, and you know the guys uh, you know in our in our RTC program that are wrapping up their careers likely at this you know, Olympiad and, you know, we're looking for the next group of guys to come in for the next squad. So it's just an ongoing process, but, uh, you know, but it's one we love. Do you guys have the a roster limit like a lot of teams do? Do you have a slot limit whenever getting admissions in? Is there any numbers that kind of like a number game for you guys? Do you have the slots and the numbers with the? Yeah, so you know, you know every program at Penn, you know, has their you know has their constraints. You know, no program gets you know everything they want. So you know, but I think we're being treated very fairly in terms of who we can support. You know, at the admissions process. Um, you know, and Penn's a, a really hot school right now, um, not only regionally but nationally, even globally. Um, so it's a really exciting time to be recruiting. You know, our, our rankings, uh, you know, continue to go up. You know, Wall Street Journal had us fourth, uh, fourth best university in the country, and in, in terms of schools that had Division One wrestling, only Harvard was ranked above us. So you know, the ranking is high. You know, the opportunity is high. The interest is tremendously strong. Uh, the brand of the University of Pennsylvania right now is tremendously strong. So I think we're in good position there. You know, in our roster, you know, we have 35 guys on the team. And, you know, some of these guys are truly blue chip national caliber, you know, top shelf. You know, Michael Kolioko ranked number one in the country in his weight and, and you know, in the top seven or eight in the national rankings halfway through his freshman year. Um, we've got guys who are, you know, develop, developing and, uh, you know, state caliber guys with national experience. And we feel they can be truly national caliber. And we've got some guys that were walk-ons who are just loving the sport and doing what they can. And you know, we embrace all those guys in our program. Our job is to get everybody to the next best place. I think Penn's been hot ever since Ben Franklin uh, founded the place, in my opinion, Coach. All right. You got anything else for me? Just uh, appreciate everybody's support, and, and uh, I think it's an incredibly important time for wrestling. Um, great to see the, you know, the, the high school excitement here at St. Ed's continue, and uh, um, let's do everything we can to grow this sport at every level. All right, go Quakers, and good luck to you guys. Thank you very much.